it's Sarah. Joe's mowing the lawn, so it's getting, and I have the TV on, but I just wanted to show you. I just, well, I just posted this one, which I love, guys. It's so soft and sweet. I love it. But this one, I don't know if you remember, it was a, it looked terrible. I don't even remember what it looked like. I think I'd gone over it and gone over it a couple times, and I just fixed it. I put Enjoy the Journey and a couple of butterflies that match the colors. And I did it again in the Kate Crane style. So that took me like half an hour. I'm going to do one more at least because um, it's getting on to dinner time now. Uh, I have these backgrounds that I definitely want to play with. I just got, I went to Hobby Lobby and believe me, I... I didn't get anything crafty except for one thing. I got these. These are the Tim Holtz. Sorry, I put the other ones, the bigger ones I put in here. It's called Paper Dolls. So, this, um, these are something that Kate uses a lot too. And I have downloadables too, but I figure what the heck. They had them. I used my coupon. And I just got picture frames. That's what I want there for. But I like the couple, you know, so I think I'm going to do this, both of these. They don't really match, but I think I'm going to put some of these on those and finish them off. Because they were just backgrounds that I did with gesso. I think I filmed these. I filmed at least one or two of them in this one. Um, but there is, I just did a blank page with... I think it had like uh, tissue paper here this one I want to do this one with the brayer I just want to see what it turns out like if I um, just use the brayer technique and I'm going to start off with white <coughs> and just get a little bit of highlight on there but I want some of that some of those words to shine through so I'm just using craft paint and this is my I believe this is my ranger brayer and I have that on my palette paper. And I am trying to be, I'm gonna put, uh, let me just grab a piece of deli paper and just put it on here. Actually, I'll put a piece of regular paper on there. I'll just put the deli paper under here. It'll be fine, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go gently. because this is where the color will be truer. So when I start putting color on here, when it hits the white, when it goes on top of the white, the color will be truer. And then when it's on the, like the, what is that called? Craft card stock color, it'll be a different color. So I just wanna see. This is my new technique, whoops, my new favorite. I'm just kinda, liking it. It's very fast. I don't clean up in between very much so I don't want to get too crazy because I will cover all up, up all the words. I like it so much this technique. Alright. I should probably let that dry a tiny bit but because they're side by side and I really didn't like how it looked so opposite. These are so opposite, like the dark and the light. I think I'm going to go more toward the same color. So I'm going to go blue. And I hope I don't make mud. Blue, yellow, and green. I think I'm going to do blue, yellow, and green. And then I'll highlight with pinks, like after. So I'm just going to go right on the same spot. I didn't clean my brayer off. I should probably... I'll get another piece of um, deli paper. And just roll my brayer on there and the trick you guys is to be gentle gentle is not my mo but i'm gonna try and just barely touch it and just let the brayer make its mark and it's a little bumpy because it's a uh, decoupaged paper which is cool because that texture picks up the paint differently as well. So that's looking cool. I, li I love this color. This is a Ocean Deep Blue by Ceram Coat. 
It's just craft paint. All right, and then what else did I say I wanted to use? A little yellow and green. I'm gonna use this really citron green, this bright green. I'm not cleaning my brayer or anything. And just gently, I say that to myself because I need to remind myself to be gentle. I'm a heavy hand, so I'm not known to be to put things down lightly. I love those colors together so much. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of neon. Neon yellow. I think I'm going to go with the neon. I have a neon yellow, I believe. Yep. It's by Apple Barrel. Neon yellow. Now this is very transparent, these neons, so I'm actually going to wipe the brayer a little. Because it might just change the color completely. Yeah, and I just rolled it on the top of the green, so we'll say gently. It's green. It looks green. I think the yellow changed green, but it's definitely popping. I see it. Can you guys see it? I'm just loving how easy this is. Wow, I do think I need to go in with a little more of the first blue I used. I want to go get a, maybe I'll, no, maybe I'll do a light blue. How about, um, I think this one. I have, this is called Whispering Turquoise, so it's just a very light blue. white-ish but all right I still think I need darker I think I gotta dry it a little bit So I think I'll do a little bit more of that darker blue because I do think that's what I needed and I didn't do it. I went with the lighter blue, but I think I want this darker blue just in a few spots. And all these colors are, they look like they're mixing on the palette so they're changing OMG I love that that turned out cool all right I'm gonna stop so I have some nice I love that like now you're starting to see where the paper was kind of like wrinkled so I'm gonna stop I like it I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna come back and do some stenciling because let's see, let's see what it looks like next to this. It's not the same at all. I could go back over with a little more white, but I really like it. I think I'm gonna leave it. And then I might do, I don't know what to do. I kinda wanted to tie them in somehow, but I don't know that I'll be able to do that. But I really like the background. All right, I'll be back. Alrighty. Now we're going to do some stenciling and I do it in the same colors. So a little bit of that green, the darker blue. I used that, I think the yellow, right? We'll do a little, I'll try this. I don't think it's going to show up. And the light blue. 
All right, and I'm just gonna go with my go-to stamp. Uh, these are stencils. I'm gonna do white too. Where's the white? And I just use a dollar store makeup sponge. And I'm gonna use this beehive looking stencil. That's pretty big. It's a big pattern. But I like it. That one's the lightest part. That's okay. We're going to go into, I'm going to go a little smaller with some green, I think. I want to do this green. And I, for some reason, I don't remember, I went and ate dinner and I don't remember if I, I didn't use a um, fluorescent green. It was just that, uh, I'm just going to use this yellow. I had, I used this for my other, I'm going to put some green around here too. You know what, I'm going to cut the tip off because it doesn't seem like it's, it's not hard, hard, but it's not, it doesn't seem like it's really going through the stencil. Now it does. I think I'll go over the white a little bit. very light color so I'm gonna try and be a little more opaque here we go can you see that yeah we're zoomed in um, a little bit up here and I've cut out already a little design and it's definitely based on a piece of Kate Crane's work that I am seeing off to the side so it's houses again and alright now I'm gonna do with this small X pattern I'm gonna do this darker blue Kind of around the edges, I think. Need another one of these. Let's do it along the edges. See, I got it a little thick. I don't want to go. It's hard for me to not make a mess of things because I push so hard. I really like that. I'm going to do a little bit in this corner. And a little bit in the middle. Then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. And then I will adhere my images. I already um, cut out, stamped out and cut out some images of houses and oopsie I did it too thick it's okay though but I don't love that I do that all right so I'm gonna wipe this off real quick too um yeah I'm gonna do some stamping I don't like that I did that so dark. I guess what? You can wipe it off. It is paint. Good. Um, 
some a little bit of stamping I'm gonna use I have a green and I, you know what I hope it turns out green I'll stamp it off on a um, a scrap paper first because I think there's ink on here if I use different color like see it actually looks red so I don't want it to turn out red I want it to be green That looks better. I'll do that. Uh, I like this color. This is a good color for this project. It's playing really good. It's called Cactus Green in the Stays On. I like that. And then I have a blue. So this is called Azure Blue. And I'm going to do dots. It's a little darker than the other blue, but I think it's still good. I like it and you can still see the words really well so that's making me happy um, should I put a little see I think we're good because those, I was gonna do um, my script because I always use my script stamp what else do I have hearts I think we're good I could just do black but I think I'm gonna leave it and we're, we're gonna adhere these pieces now hopefully I haven't scattered them all because I get like that when I'm getting I get in a it's a flurry of activity oh all right so let me see here I'm going to do and I've cut it all out of book pages this time I have three houses and there's one, and I lost one. I'm going to put him in the middle. And this one is here. And then there's a third one that I got to find. I think I dropped it. Oh, here it is. <coughs> I'll put them a little closer closer together because I want to put some flowers I stamped out a bunch of um, what is this stamp set called delusions how does your garden grow I've had this forever I think it's one of her very first ones and I cut out a few flowers I'm going to put them over here Actually, I think I might stamp a few background flowers with, I had this. These are just tall, where are they? These guys. These are tall little sketchy flowers. So I think I might stamp a couple of them in the background in black before I glue everything down. Then I have all these little triangles and I'm going to make a banner. Just I never do this and I'm thinking it's going to look so cool. A little banner going across the top. So I'll do all this off camera and then I have these little birds that were in the stamp set as well and I'll stick him on here on top of the house and I have a littler one that I think I'm gonna put up on the there and so that's kind of what it's gonna look like alright and then I'm gonna do it very similarly to the other piece only this one will be a lot more monochromatic so 
I'm going to use the same colors, the blue, the green, um, a light blue. So I'm just going to float and paint very monochromatically. That's how Kate had it too. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp some flowers along here, these tall ones, and then I'll glue everything down and then I'll be back and we'll paint. Be right back. Hello, I'm back. It is Monday morning. I got my watch on because it's an exercise day. But I had to sit down and play before I go because this is looking so cute. So <clears throat> this is actually based off a piece by Kate that she did for Ranger in 2013. It was um, the Dilutions Challenge. So she she used all the dilutions paints I'm sure and sprays but I just loved the design so I kind of replicated it as best I could um, we have the three little houses these flowers are stamps that I cut out by Diane so that makes sense see that makes sense that it's dilutions right so these are Diane stamps so I showed you those um, I had a couple punched I did a couple extras with just my punch what else I did the stamping behind which I like and I added words it just says there is beauty and simplicity and let's start painting so I got I have out some glazing medium and I'm just going to be mixing my colors with the glazing medium to uh, keep it very sheer I want to be able to see um, through so we're going to be using this the three colors that we used to do the background and keep it very monotone that's because that's what it looks like what Kate did and that's what I'm I have no idea what she did but I'm just kind of going off of this piece that I love by her so I'm, I don't know if I put yellow I think I did yeah I can see some pops of yellow so anyway I'm gonna play with these four colors and I'm just gonna use a little round brush I think for right now maybe a flat no I think a round like a number four round or th let's see can't even see my numbers anymore yeah this is a four so I'm gonna load the brush in the glazing medium instead of water it wouldn't matter I mean I can have water on my brush that's fine uh, let me get my napkins my paper towels but let's do um, I'll do the banner so I'm gonna load in the glazing medium and then I'm gonna go into the green and just gently now I could probably just do this with water but the glazing medium is a nice I have it <laughs> it's always about you know I have it use it so I'll just do like every other one this green or maybe just a couple of them and don't forget we're gonna outline everything and then I'll do one over here I'll do so I'm just gonna use the green right now while I'm using it you know what I could do is these little let me come in a little just paint these guys green kinda like their leaves or I don't know I guess buds right but I think I'll paint the flowers different colors like I'll have some blue ones and I'm just hit and miss it doesn't have to be every single one every petal and I'm definitely not being neat that's another thing this is so freeing to just just have fun like literally I'm so happy that I figured this out um, oh I could paint you know what let me go bigger because um, I want to do the houses 
with a nice size brush. This is just a flat brush. I'm loading again in the, um, and I'm just going to get the green, and we'll have to do one of these houses green, don't we? We'll do a roof, definitely. You know what I forgot to do is my doors and my windows. So we'll do a couple of green windows, but I shouldn't have done that yet because I'll paint the house. Oh no, it's fine. I could have went around it. Um, and I'll paint this house. But see, hmm, I want to put my doors and windows first. Put a, lo a long, tall. Boy, that's crooked. Um, because I had this. This background was actually that bumpy paper which I loved doing it on there and see the words are still showing through that was cool and the kinda um, craft color paint this one has a super tall door and I'll do a round, a round window there and just two little windows here it just makes it easier for me when I um, when I have the design. So now I am going to have to switch to a little bit smaller because I want to go around the windows. This is so relaxing. So yeah, so today's Monday. We hope everyone had a great weekend. We had to watch Game of Thrones last night. I liked it. I think it's going along just right. Cersei, oh boy, she's trouble. For, for her, I think everything would be in place. To So that looks good. Anywho, I won't talk about that. Um, let me do this window. Alright. I'm going to go with... Where did I leave that brush? This one. I'm going to go with some... I want to use the darker blue, but I think it might be... Let's do it. Let's try it. A little too dark? No, oh, I think it's good. So this is so fun to just do these washes, like it's all washes. I have to show you, I did finish the page next to the one I did yesterday too. And um, I love how it turned out. It, it covered that mess that was next to, you'll see. I'll show you. And then... I guess we'll just do this light, light blue. Oh, I forgot about my flowers. Let me just finish the banner and the... And you know, I never add banners to my stuff and I love this idea. So this is super light, but I like it. You know what, I'll go over the words too. I like it, but it's super light, but I think I guess I gotta do this house. I'll do the house light blue too. So nice to not have to be perfect and just paint. 
I got, I'm going to come back and do my um, flowers in a minute. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. I guess yellow. But the yellow and green look very similar, but let's see. Some yellow. Really there's not that this is this is maybe a little too bright. Yeah, I don't think I want to do the yellow. Just because it's supposed to be, well, Kate's was. I'm just trying to go with what she did. I think I'm just going to go with the blues. I think I got a little green in my brush, so I actually changed it, changed the color. See? And I went right over the yellow. And I changed the color. Um, let me go back to green. I think we're good. We can do the flowers. The birds, she has the birds black. Which I like that to just add that pop. So maybe I'll do them in a washy black. So let's do a few of these. See, that's too opaque. And it's just because I'm such a heavy hand. I can't do anything light. It's not my way. So for me to copy, right, or be inspired and do someone else's idea, um, it's hard for me because we want to be ourselves, you know, and that's why in decorative painting, um, you go into a class, seminar, convention, whatever, you're sitting in there with a bunch of different people, and you're all painting the same piece the same design that the teacher created and every single one looks different because we are different and we can't help but be ourselves right when you're creating and so it's fun because I mean some people like me I would want mine to look as close to the teachers as I could get it because that's why I was there. I loved their piece so much and so mine looked much more like hers. Mine would always look close and some people would get frustrated because they couldn't get it to look like the teachers and the, the teacher would just say, well you're not me. You know, you can't expect that because you are you and you're, and that's what would happen. So now I'm starting, it's all starting to come together. Like I understand I'm just a better copycat, I guess, you know, and I don't have ideas of my own. I hate to say it, but I, I mean, and I do, but not in the way some people do not in the way a lot of people do so that looks cool and I just gotta do the centers and I will use the yellow for the centers and then you know what we're doing we're outlining I guess I will paint the um, the little birds. Let's see. I guess I'll use black, but I think I'm going to still um, wash it out, like make it washy. It'll still look good. And then I'm going to have to dry it a little bit, and then I'll go in with my pen. And pretty much, oops, forgot the glazing medium. And then pretty much, I think we're done.
but I am being very sloppy. Poor little bird. He doesn't have much personality now. Kate always likes to add a pop of black. She always puts black in, and I haven't been doing that, but I remember that from her classes. Um, she definitely, uh, always, 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 pretty much always adds a pop of black. And it really is a, oops, I forgot one thing too over here. This is two windows. And I think we're good. And guys, this is this is looking like a mess right now. I get it. But once we add um, the line work, it's going to come to life. So I wanted to show you. See, I just left this here last night. So this is the piece I did yesterday for you guys on a, a background that I just cleaned my brush off on, basically. And I just think this is like one of my favorite pages. But... I actually uh, came back with some fluorescent, oh excuse me, fluorescent red um, with bottle caps. I did a couple bottle caps and I spattered with black. And that was that. But look at this one. Didn't this, I fixed this page. This page was like, ugh, it was awful. It was ugly colors. <laughs> I don't know. And I fixed it and I love it. And again, it's in Kate's style using the briar and um, I had these butterflies. I have a lot of printables and I've been pulling things from um, pattern paper, you know, craft paper, um, cardstock, and using, cutting it up and putting it in these little boxes. I have, plus I just got the Tim Holtz stuff, which I showed you, these little uh, people. They're called paper dolls, so I have them. So I'm going to put these on a couple of the other pages. But see, I have all these butterflies and different printables, so I've been cutting them out and kind of putting them in this. See, here's a butterfly. I don't know what this one looks like. Ooh, this is actually a stamped butterfly that I did. I think I colored it with... I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so this was a lot of inchy and twinchy papers. Oh, this is those guys, but I have another one of them too. But that's what I've been doing is kind of in my, you know, if I just feel like sitting here and doing something for a minute, I kind of go through my printables and um, cut things out and keep them in there so that when I'm working on a journal page, uh, I have everything right at my fingertips ready to go. So it's easier to, to play that way when you have things to grab from uh, at the ready. So uh, I have a little stack behind me of all my papers, my um, book pages, music pages, you know, all that type of stuff. I have it up here too. Oh, this is my stencils, but I have, I have things right where I can grab them ready to go. So let me just make sure this is dry. Have a sip of my coffee. And if I were to edit this piece, I would fast forward through this part and you guys could just see me do it. I mean, I could do it off camera, obviously. Uh-oh. <laughs> Went a little crooked already. And I just use spit <laughs> and a Q-tip. So just gently, if the more gentle you are actually, the lines will go straighter. If you push hard, because we do have a little bit of a bumpy surface under here, because I use tissue paper, and I, I think Allie gave me that tissue paper. She sent me a whole big box full of papers and napkins and you name it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I just covered this whole page 
with um, sorry I can't do this and at the same time I just went right over my bird but um I can't do it at the same time. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's a little tissue papery, so it's got some bumps in it. So if you're when you're outlining and you hit those bumps, it could just be fine. Don't worry about it. I just tend to like to make straight lines, so it bothers me a little bit. So I fix it. That being said, these lines are very straight, so. Just have fun. That's what I like to stress to you guys. Enjoy the process. And I'm so glad I figured that out because if you go back and watch, there's a video that I did called, um, what did I call it? Canvas Confusion. That's what it was called. Um, because... I was watching like Faber Castell, a lot of different um, mediums put out. Like, so I was using gelatos at the time, and I was watching the, you know, Faber Castell put out. Oh my gosh, see how it just comes together? And so, uh, I didn't, but the person was just going along and doing their thing, which is fine. And uh, I didn't know why they were doing anything. So I was so confused and it was frustrating. Um, and if, if I've helped you with anything, that it is to just do you. And don't do it if it's not fun. That's the thing, like, I kept at it, and I figured it out, <clears throat> but it wasn't actually, f it wasn't fun fun, because I didn't, I didn't have a process, I need a process, that's what it was about, too. Like, I kind of needed an end game, you know, I need to know where I'm going with something, and, and, I guess, sometimes you don't, you're just sitting there in front of your, piece and you just you know whatever happens happens and that's fine for some people but for me I feel more comfortable when I have a plan in place where I when I know where I'm going with it I'm gonna put a little eyeball on him don't worry he needs an eyeball I'm just gonna use my white gel pen but that's it I think I'm gonna sign it while I have my pen out and you know what you could do this is what Kate does too so she, she would just put little dots, little circles on here. Because after, you can just doodle. So I'll do the light blue ones with circles. And like on the roof, you could go, boop, like make these little... And I'm trying to make the point hit this is my husband had a thing about when you hung the garland on the tree I think his mom started it but you had to make the points hit the circles oh boy it was very particular he's lightened up a little since then but yeah fun funny um so yeah you can do that like let's just do some stripes on these dark blue ones am I even in the shot yeah so just basic lines. And that's it. Look, OMG. What else did I want to do? Let me give my little bird an eye. There you go, buddy. Now you can see. Alright, so that is so cool. Can you see it? And then I can spatter, and you could come back and do a few things on top. Like, all right, let's do it. Let's do a few things on top, like um, some bottle caps. Where are my, I put it, I keep putting things away. But yeah, I definitely want to do this. 
Uh, I have two sizes. This is a Snapple cap, and this is just a, I think, a, an old squirt bottle type cap. So let's do some blue. And I have this blue out. Let me zoom back out a little. Yeah. So I'm just going to take the cap and kind of pull it through and make a little, and just go gently. Yeah, I have to tell myself, gentle, Sarah. Gentle. I don't really want it dark, dark. And then I'll go with this littler one through the green. Not too much. See, I don't know where to stop. Okay, stop. Um, and then how about some black spatters? And then I, I should have doodled with like my white pen and stuff like that too. Maybe I'll do a little doodle. I think I'm good. I don't, I don't, I don't need to. Oh man, I got paint all over me now. Um, but that all just kind of put, puts everything onto one surface now. Like, so it's all part of the same thing. My nails are holding up. Guys, I have been doing the gel nails. She cut them really short last time because they grew. And I love the color that I used last time, but this stuff does not chip. I love it. And my nails grew, and I love the colors. Love it, but I am getting a little painy today. Try not to. But, like, you can just pick the, the, um, like the Mod Podge, the glue. I can just peel it right off, and my, it does not chip. I love it. All right, so... And then let's do some spatter. Got a spatter. And I use this. I need a new fan brush because my fan brush broke. And I had to, I taped it together with duct tape, but it's, it's not, it's not, it's seen better days. So I think I'm going to do a little black. A little black spatter. And I just had a tiny bit of black out on my palette. And we'll see how it goes. They're little spatters, but I like little spatters. Kate actually uses a, like a, a, a more of a brush like this, like a round brush, because she likes it to kind of leave a spray. She likes a spray instead of a spatter. All right, you're getting crazy. <laughs> And that's it. I think we can call it done. And I never did sign it. I have been signing, just putting my the date, because this is my art journal, and I will come back to this. It could it could take years for me to finish it. So um, I want to take this little splotch off. I don't like that. Um, I have been signing the date. Like let's see. Oh, this says January 2017. So I did this one in January. Oh, I didn't sign her. This was a Jane Davenport um, stencil. And it was actually on a background again that was already done. And then I just filled in and then I went around this with white. See how, because it was just a bunch of spatter, I think. So I'm liking that. Now these, I think these two... I'm going to use the um, Tim Holtz people and just put some people on there. Maybe shade behind them, put some words. And this one too. These, I think, didn't I do these with gelatos? I don't remember. This one was from, um, not Wonderless, the one I did last year. Oh, can't think of the names. I, I have no brain. So this was from March of 16. 
So I had this, yeah, because it was from last year because I was painting a lot of faces last year. This one was when I did Jody Ole. This is February 16 because I took a class with Jody Ole. March 16. I think this was from around the same time. But I'm kind of trying, look how many pages there are in here. I mean, will we ever finish this? This is February 16. I watched a little bit of the video of this one last night. This is so cute. I love because it's a totally different color palette than I usually use. But look, I still have to put my sparkles. That's one thing I really love. So if I'm being true to me when I art journal, I will add glitter and sparkle and um, like, um, what are they called? Uh, pearlescent paints lots of things that shine because that's just I I tend to love that stuff not everyone does but when I'm really being true to myself see like this one has a lot of texture I think this was more of a Jody Ole style too look the drippage I love it so I I might just, I mean, I like that, though, the way it is. It doesn't need, you know, and it shows all the texture behind it. This one I do not like at all. I put on here, I really love to collage and actually like the way it looks just on its own. The collage. I really love to try new things. Probably won't be doing a sketched face on top of collage background again still fun <laughs> because I mean it was just too bumpy and I couldn't yeah I didn't like get the results that I wanted like I'm not in love with this I don't know but like it is what it is and this was January 2017 so um, and then these there is a great artist on YouTube there's a couple of them that do these I can't think of her name right now or the um, YouTube channel, but I had to do a couple of them in here. Really fun. But I just wanted to show, these are the two that I did yesterday. This one I love, and this one was a mess and I fixed it. So I'm so happy about that too. Oh, look at my castle. My castle was so cool. But again, it's not totally me. I'm bringing things in from classes. I think this was after I'd taken a lot of Jody Ole classes because the drippage and all that stuff. Like, So that's what happens. You know, if you take classes from people, you'll pick up some of their things and some will stick and some won't. And you'll just go back to, you know, what you love. So um, classes are good. I would recommend them because... Uh, you you might not have thought of it some a certain way, and then you know, then all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, this is my thing now. <laughs> but all right, you guys, I hope you had fun. Um, I'm going to continue on. I'm I'm enjoying the mixed media at the moment because I got inspired by watching my Wonderlust videos. Um, so I'm gonna have to go exercise though. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs>